my gosh, we're back with Casper. So, you know, he's really, really moving around. And I'm not, you know, the last thing I want to do is start saying, stop doing that. I'm thinking to myself, oh, that'd be a good opportunity if he takes off running after that dog again. Sorry, that was uh, somebody calling. All right, so here we go. And I think you saw that yesterday, Mike, the, the moving it away from the other. Casper! The other dog drill needs to not just be happenstance. It needs to be something that you're definitely planning on doing. Oh, she's awful. Oh, she's absolutely awful. Casper! You know, and I think that's when, if you said, well, when can you do your short distance drills, then, and I'm really yakking up the arm signal. They, they buy that. You've seen it. Look, it's wow. taking off. You know, until you can understand the dog sees you as an it, I don't think you're going to be that successful. All right, so he's over there jumping around. Casper! So, I mean, I think, you know, if you're not doing all these things, that's why your recall is bad. If you're not doing things where you're throwing your voice the other way, if you're not being, I think initially, you need to be a moving handler 100% of the time. 100% of the time. Stationary handlers are not that fun. And I mean, I've never seen any situation where somebody said sit, told the dog to come, and, and <laughs> that had any application whatsoever when they take off, you know. I'm sure I learned out of necessity. I don't think these things don't take off all the time. All right, so but what I do want to do, and I'm thinking, you know, if I had, like, a uh, magnetic thing or something, I wouldn't have this big snap. But I do want them, and I do say equipment-neutral dog, but I think with some dogs, with companion dogs, because they don't have the leash on that much, that I think you should make the dog equipment bias towards the leash, the opposite of it's a correction, it's a decorum, I suppose. No, I don't even know what I'm talking about. All right, look, so I'm just gonna get it on there. Oh, and he's even getting all the way up on the platform. All right, look, but my collar's messed up. And I try not to touch the ears and stuff. As much as possible, that needs to be your move. And then I'm always feeding it out. I'm very specific about speeding, feeding it out. If you're putting it on and sh short checking it, well, that's why they don't like it. That's why they don't like it. All right, so let me just work around a little. But I am posturing with it, and I'm saying I'm going to steer you with it. Casper. So it's there. I mean, it's very obvious. to myself. I want to make sure I've got the ability to move this dog anywhere within this radius. Oh, it looks like I can bring it in front of them. But there's my pager, 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 pager. It's like a bunny rabbit, Mahesh. Mahesh is like, what's this? It's called bunny rabbit training. It's very new age. All right, watch. So I'm just ruddering, you know, so I'm trying to make the dog see the leash. So 
I just pulled him around with the pager. I just want to make sure, again, that I do have that rudder ability. But I am, I'm in my reality. You know, because if you said we don't walk that fast, as I know, you do have to train in height reality with puppies. Oh, look at its arm, it's going, it's going. You know, and I think you have to say to yourself, you know, would this puppy have more of a potential to be a balker or a puller? And this one would probably be more of a balk or a Mahesh because he has a very soft temperament. And you do want that. But they can, oh, yay! You know, if they get unsure, like when I went to put him in the van, I don't know how he was about getting in the car. Maybe it was just the van, but he didn't want to get in. I had to make him get in. All right, so I have no reaction to that. In fact, I'd be, be better off. All right, I want you to watch his leg. It's around the leash. It's going to be fixed here very shortly. So there's my cadence. And I am. I'm putting a slight pause right there on that turn. And if you said, well, you're only pausing for a nanosecond. Yes, but they, uh, they can see that pause. All right, so look, I'm going to rudder him this way. Pager, 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 pager. You know, so I am making the leash very obvious because I do want him to understand. And I'm going to start adding the down with the pager. Boom. And, you know, the fact that he's already defaulting to it, that's his own idea. And, you know, what, what we'd have to say, Mahesh, is... The other idea that he might have, I can assure you, is jumping. So it, he's, he's saying to himself, oh, yeah, okay, okay. I, I'm, not, I'm not correcting him for jumping, but I'm giving him a... Oh, and he's thinking of it. If he goes down, he go, he's going... Yeah. Boom. And I am very specific. All right, look, there's the foot again. There's its fixed. I'm very specific about bending his head to the side. Because you've seen, we're just going to walk him and make him down. The kids will be able to do it. And with kids, I do add that big foot signal. Because it's easy for kids to do. And I did add my pager. But the pager means movement, so he can't understand. And, but I'm not going to, I'm going to work on that next week. We want to make sure that we've got, yay. he's just deciding to do this on his own. And I know if you said, well, it's good. It's, it's even better when they're a great big, I can tell you. When you've got a great big one. All right, look, so I'm just thinking to myself, can I drive the dog for, I'm, I haven't jerked the leash at all. Casper. kind of sucks behind right there, but I always make sure I don't let it get out of sync. Not always, but... So he's perfect to make the turn. I'm just turning him with the page. Oh, same thing. He's in a good place. Nope. Alright, so I'm going to add a precursor. I'm going to add the precursor of lowering the leash. So, obviously, back to the good part, you can make him do it without the leash. And I do, I do like this collar, uh, because it doesn't have any contact points, and I do think... I do think that's what you want for puppies. I, you know, I don't know why you would want contact points. I guess, hang on, i got to grab some more treats real quick.
Okay. I hope Molly was keeping you entertained. Okay, Shelly. Uh, you're the one that has the cowardly dog, right? And this one's kind of that way, too. I think more than anything, you've got to just imprint the dog uh, to move in your direction. Because if they get scared, they're going to move. It's when they move the wrong way that people get in a problem. All right, and he's probably going to chase after Molly here in a second. I'm going to get him back. You know, but again, he's not saying to himself, Casper! She's looking to correct me because they're just going to gravitate away from that. It may work for one day, but if you said I've trained and trained, I've done a lot of corrections, I've really worked on things, but when I let it loose, it won't come to me. If you said, what do you see? people not doing they don't use a heightened reality command my friend matt which i love to death but his was you know if you said make the command very flat bland and almost inaudible that was him <laughs> all right so Catherine. So I'm just looking where his head is. All right, so turn, turn, turn. Oh, he's going to be perfect when I put those little ears on him. All right, look, and I, ha I, I didn't work on it this morning, but I had him back in my hand. Sometimes if you do, if, sometimes if you turn this way first, hang on. If you have a problem getting one to back up, if you can get them moving, hang on. Uh, I'll work on it before Easter, but I can back them up this way. I had them kind of doing like a bunny hop back there. You know, I think you have to do that because at some point you have to say to yourself, there's this probability the dog might get ahead, and how am I going to deal with that? You know, and the two choices would be... The two choices would be change direction, or, you know, back the dog back up. If you were chronically backing it up, I think you'd have to figure out you did something wrong, but... All right, hang on. Yes, so he's real tight on those turns. All right, watch. So he knows all the steps of the time. So again, I heightened the reality even more because he's thinking, Eric, just it got that excited because I got on there. All right, watch. All right, so I'm going to get him to go. I'm going to hold it down and start it slightly before Casper. You said what was the... He went like this. Yeah, I could put it in slow-mo. But that's the... I want you guys to understand, that's the amount of time you've got to do something. He went, look, look, and then... Then I added it. All right, let's see if he'll default to it down. Precious little default downer. Precious default downer. So, I'm, I'm kind of the point now, that's where you've got to start. If you're, if I can do it, you know, I've never told this dog to down, JC. If I continue doing this, nothing I do is going to be able to stop it from doing that. I think that's what you have to, I think that's what I understand. It's, nothing you do is going to, correcting, I, I don't correct him for jumping. But if you continue to reinforce that, nothing you do is going to stop it from doing that. All right, so, and I didn't jerk on it at all, and I'm, you know, this is just Greg's pager thing. All right, so here's my, oh, I forgot to get him again. I think one thing, I think a good thing to teach all of them now, Mike and JC, I think this would be a good thing for clients. Uh, just kind of have the standard trick where you get the dog to give you the leash. They like that, so I just make it incidental. Oh, <laughs> my
Oh, he not only gave it to me, he jumped. But what I did with this one, and you know that, Mike, I think you've got to install that in the beginning. The second they see my hand go like that, and honestly, that's the opposite of pointing at it. The second they see my hand go like that, they know they know to restart the sequence, I suppose. All right, let me put the dumbbell down here. Oh, yeah, it up a little bit. You know, very concerned with moving this, whatever. This It has to have that thing in the right place. And then I'm gone. Oh, yay! So I'm not going to tell him to go get it. I'm just going to look. He's trying to get through together. You know, that would probably be a good, you know, like if they had like a toy that they could fit two or three. You know, it'd be like dog uh, Jenga or whatever that game is. You know, how many could they stack up and then bring all at once? Uh, anyway, Christy, I don't know if you're there, but he's pretty unbelievable. You know, and he got all that speed himself. And if you said, where did that, you know, why is he going faster? I mean, again, I've, I've encouraged a lot of move in my direction very, very quickly. If I had ever said stay don't move in my direction you risk them thinking is that now that's why you don't want to do that anyway so uh any puppy you know and you're not going to and you guys have got to get out there and get excited about tech oh my i've never had dogs that didn't didn't get the collar i've been in business for 20 something years they always had to get it because i was so passionate about it so you know that one kid was like, oh, my clients aren't interested in it. Well, you must not, that's you, because you must not be giving them interest in it, you know. So just, even if you, even if just people just got a pager, its limitations are still less than a prong collar, chug chain, and all this other crap, because it does at least have some ability when it isn't attached. Oh, God, I don't like helicopters flying over my house. I'll tell you why. Remember those planes that always fly over? I don't know if you guys have I've ever shown it on there, but they fly over in formation. It's just a bunch of retired guys. Oh, Tony knows. She sees them flying over in those formations. Well, they got in an accident. Thank God, Tony, that accident wasn't right on top of my house, and the debris field wasn't all the way across my property because they take off from the fly and They fly right over my house. All right, guys, I'm going to be back with uh, Daisy. She's a monster. If Steph's watching, she's like, no, yes, she's a monster. <laughs>